So the main thing that uh, what we're going to work with, ladies and gentlemen, um, for this in getting in this chapter is the first thing we're going to start dealing with triangles. And what we're going to be looking into the triangles is we're going to want to be able to figure out what is going to be the remaining lengths and angles of your given triangle. All right. So let's say we have a given triangle here. And what we've experienced before with triangles is we used our trigonometric terms, sine, cosine, tangents. And we used all those. But one of the main causes, Taylor, that we had to have was it had to be a right triangle. Also that was helpful with the right triangle was that we could use the Pythagorean theorem. right? So what we're going to do today is we're going to investigate not, now not right triangles, but oblique triangles. All right, triangles that are not or could, could contain a right angle, but nothing that is going to be a given. So the first thing is, a lot of these triangles that we're going to be working on might already have them be labeled. All right, And that's perfectly fine. They might say A, A is this, B is this, C is that. But I want to make sure I go through how to correctly label a triangle, um, how to correctly label a triangle between their sides and the angles. So the first thing is, like I said, if they give you a triangle with wherever A and B are, you can easily label those. But a lot of times, you're just going to be up to write, creating a triangle of your own. So the first thing I want you guys to understand is when we're dealing with a triangle, we want to make sure that we're going to have uppercase letters for our angles. So those are going to represent your A, B, and C. All right? And like I said, I'm just arbitrary, arbitrarily picking where I want my A, B, and C to be. All right, sometimes you might give a problem with this where they label them. For right now, we can just arbitrarily pick our angles. The next thing is, the important thing now when we're going to do these problems is you're going to have to make sure you're consistent with this. Now, to label the sides, what we're going to do is we're going to lab label them with our lowercase letters. All right, so now when we're going to be talking about a triangle, um, this is what we're going to be kind of referencing at, all right, with your angle and then your side that's going to be directly across from it. Okay? All right. That's good for the first part. 